Welcome to the Roadrunner Wrap-Up, your update for Metro State Sports over this past weekend. I'm Eric Lansing, the face and voice for the Roadrunners. First up, men's basketball. The team led by first-year head coach Derek Clark hosted the Colorado School of Mines. It was a battle for first place in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. Metro jumped out to an 11-point lead early. Here, junior Reggie Evans with the nice moves to the basket. The RMAC's number one rated defense held the Ore Diggers to only three first-half field goals. Mines would rally in the second half as Gordon Galloway hit a few long balls to make it close, but Metro would push the lead back to double digits and hold on for the 66-62 win. On to the next night where Metro would push their winning streak to eight games against Colorado Christian. The junior forward from Boulder, Jonathan Morse, would record his fifth career double-double, and senior A.J. Flournoy pulled down 11 rebounds to go along with his nine points. Metro now stands alone at the top of the RMAC with an 8-1 record. Now for our women's basketball team who came into their home contest with the Ore Diggers unbeaten on the season, and they would improve their record to a pristine 12-0 on the season and 8-0 in the conference after a 53-48 win over the Colorado School of Mines. Senior Cassandra Bratton dropped in 12 points, adding 9 rebounds, and sophomore Emily Wood also contributed 12 points in the win. The next night was a battle of unbeatens in the conference. Colorado Christian came in with a perfect 8-0 mark in the RMAC. This one was close for the first six minutes, but a late 14-1 run pushes the runners' lead to 13 in the first half. The lead would get to as high as 20 in the second, and Metro cruises to the 72-56 win. Here is this week's schedule for the basketball teams. Both teams will square off against the Thunder Wolves from CSU Pueblo on Friday, January 14th. The women play at 5 and the men play at 7. The following night, the teams will host the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs at the same times. The games will be played at the Aurora Event Center and bring the family because it's four tickets, four hot dogs, and four soft drinks for just $25. And let's not forget about our indoor track and field team as they travel to Colorado Springs for the Air Force All-Comers Meet on Friday. That is your Metro State wrap-up for this week, and check out GoMetroState.com for details on events, schedules, player bios, and everything you need to know about Metro State sports. I'm Eric Lansing.